What is up guys, it's Double Winning, and today I've got an update for the basic warrior deck that we had been showing in the previous videos. So if you'll look here, you'll see that I've changed Cleave for Slam. I'll have the old deck list on the left there so you can kind of see what I'm going through. Uh, Bloodfin Raptors for Fairy Dragons, Shattered Sun Clerics for Harvest Golems, uh, Gnomish Inventor for Arathi Weaponsmiths, and if you guys are wondering why I made those changes, I'll be going over that in the rest of this video. But if you were just wondering what the individual changes were that you could make right away, you guys can go ahead and close the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating, comment what you think below. And uh, again, this this is really, really cheap. It's only uh, 80 dust per set of cards here. So it's only going to run you about 320 dust. So you guys can make that changes. Uh, biggest ones I would recommend are the Slam uh, slam for Cleave and Fairy Dragon for Bloodfen. So uh, first card change, Slam over Cleave. So if you remember, Cleave is the one that does two damage to two random minions. Uh, slam does two damage to a minion, and if it survives, draw a card. They both cost two mana, so you might be thinking, well, Cleave has the potential to do four damage, and Slam only has the potential to do two damage. So why would I pick Slam over Cleave? Well, it's not... It's, it's kind of why you would pick Slam over Cleave and a little bit why you wouldn't want to have Cleave. The biggest issue with Cleave is the fact that you're dealing two damage to two random enemies, but you can't use it if they don't have two cards. So what this means is that the most ideal times you're going to be using Cleave are if you're behind. Cleave isn't always going to bring back a game. You know, if they have like a 5-4 a out and a 2-3 out and use Cleave, you know, or like a 3-2, you kill the 3-2, but there's still the big minion out. It's not really going to turn a game around for you. What Slam is going to do for you is you can use it whenever they have at least one minion, as long as it's targetable. You can use it to net new cards, because if it survives, you draw a new card, which gives you the possibility of drawing maybe another Slam, a Fire Warrant, a Rogue Strike, an Execute, a Cordon Elite, a Dark Reaper, a Rocky Weapons. Tons and tons of cards that can give you a further out to whatever you just slammed. And more often than not, Slam is going to, you're going to find Slam a lot more beneficial than Cleave, because you can use it when you're ahead, you can use it when you're behind, you can use it when you're really behind to really fish new cards. Overall, it's just a better card, in my opinion. Fairy Dragon over Bloodfen Raptor. So Bloodfen Raptor is a 2 mana, 3-2 versus a two mana three two we have no beast synergy but we do have synergy with can't be targeted by spells or hero powers none of them are spells that we're going to be using on fairy dragon one number one mage is getting really really popular right now and fairy dragon is absolutely fantastic against mage because it can't be targeted by spells or hero powers so fairy dragon way better than bloodfen raptor in every way possible harvest golem over shattered sun cleric Basically, this one is more, it kind of comes down to preference. Shattered Sun Cleric, I feel like, is a win more card, where if you're already winning and you already have a minion out, then you can drop the Shattered Sun Cleric and you can continue to build your uh, minions. Overall, I think Harvest Golem is a better card because they both cost three mana. You're getting five mana, or you're getting five stats worth for the three mana. But Harvest Golem, you can play on turn two with a coin or turn three and be okay. Shattered Sun Cleric, you want to play if you're buffing something else. So I think that's why Harvest Golem kind of gets the benefit here, because if you look, we have Acidic Swamp Boots, who, you know, if we're playing against anyone that runs weapons, we're going to be trying to play that to stop a weapon. We have Fairy Dragon, which is solid just to drop. Novice Engineer is not going to stay on the board. You know, it's not like a, it's not a pressure minion. So having a, a Harvest Golem as a pressure minion is really, really nice. Plus, um, you know, it stays within that three or less attack so it can Warsong Commander. Unfortunately, Harvest Golem's uh, Damage Golem does not get charge from the Warsong Commander. But overall, I think Harvest Golem is a better card than Shattered Sun Cleric because you're getting, it's a solid card that you can play whenever. You don't need to combo it. And plus, it allows you to have a sticking card so if you play the harvest golem and it's you know minions are one one you know generally and they destroy the harvest golem you'll get your your damage golem that you can follow up with uh you know which will allow you to do a possible you know execute or strike slam something that can follow up and do even more damage um to whatever minion they have on the field usually you can make favorable trades here so i think overall harvest golem better than shattered sun cleric if you find that every time you're drawing set, uh harvest golem you wish you had shattered sun cleric play shattered sun cleric easy as that Arathi Weaponsmith over Gnomish Inventor. Uh, this one's another one that I don't feel like is that much better, but I do like the Arathi Weaponsmith more than the Gnomish Inventor because we do have kind of an aggressive deck here. And what this Arathi Weaponsmith allows us to do is it allows us to swing face with our weapons a lot more. So with this, we have six weapons in the deck, uh, plus, uh, you know, kind of pseudo weapons with the Heroic Strike. So with Fiery War Axe, Arathi Weaponsmith, and Arcanite Reaper, this makes it so we don't have to really worry about running out of weapons because we can just keep swinging face. And if we look at the damage of all these together, that's six 
plus four, that's 10, plus uh, 10, that's 20. That's 20 damage purely just from weapons, and that's pretty dang strong. A 2-2 weapon is actually usually enough to deal with a lot of minions in this game. Um, I definitely like the Arathi Weaponsmith over the Gnomish Inventor, plus they have equal stats, you know, 2-4, four, 3-3, three, three. it's the same uh, four mana, six stats. The main thing, the main thing, the difference between their abilities is you have to look at the battle cry. So Gnomish Inventor draws a card, Arathi Weaponsmith, creates a 2-2 weapon so essentially you're still getting an extra card you're just guaranteeing that that card is a 2-2 weapon and you're getting it for free too that's that's one thing to note anything you draw from the gnomish inventor you're still gonna have to pay for with your mana if you look through the deck what could i draw with gnomish inventor that would be equal or better to the arathi weaponsmith basically the best things you're going to be hoping for when you draw the gnomish inventor are like court on elite um slam heroic strike fiery wax execute things like that maybe even shield block if you're just trying to survive for a little bit longer um, but most of those things would be accomplished by the 2-2 Arathi Weaponsmith weapon. Um, the only real benefits I would see to having the Gnomish Inventor over the Arathi Weaponsmith are when you're already in the lead and you're trying to develop uh, more cards because you're burning a lot of cards to stay up tempo, like you're creating tempo and you're trying to stay ahead. And I could see the Gnomish Inventor being a little bit better there because... Um, you can then look to try and get your your key cards, you know, like your Corkon Elites, your Chillwind Yetis, things like that, which will allow you to stay um, at an advantage. But overall, I think you'll, you guys will really, really enjoy Arathi Weaponsmith over Gnomish Inventor. That was my in-depth explanation to the four changes that we made to this deck. I encourage you guys to go out, use the new deck list. So I'll be using that in future videos, um, and I'll have those uploaded pretty soon here. So I want you guys to go out, play the deck, tell me what you think, maybe think of any ideas that you want to change. Again, we're trying to kind of stay in the guideline of only using uh, commons, maybe maybe even like a rare or two, but we're going to slowly transition this deck into something uh, you know a bit more um, expensive for dust, something that you guys can just pick up and play right away, and then you know you guys can play through um, as I'm playing it to kind of, you know, kind of get the same feel as I'm getting it. Every time I draw Harvest Golem and every time I draw Arathi Weaponsmith, you got to think, would this have been better if it was Shattered Sun Cleric or Gnomish Inventor? And that's really how you find out. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the you know, comment section below. I do reply to all comments on my videos within about the first week of them being posted. And then, you know, uh, as they get a little bit older, I still try and reply to them. But sometimes, you know, they, they do kind of sift through. So I hope you guys are enjoying the Hearthstone content. And as always, guys, stay classy and keep winning. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's a playlist of all my Hearthstone videos, and you can just click that little next video button to move on straight to the next one. See you guys soon.